2015 saw the launch of the fourth generation of the Volkswagen Caddy. This year sees the launch of the Caddy Alltrack. Not only does it look more exciting, but it should be able to do a lot more off-road as well. The Alltrack features some really nice design touches, like a specially designed skid plate at the front, which comes standard in plastic, but you can also have in metal for more rugged use. It also has specially designed rims and classic all-track styling on the wheel arches. The interior features carbon elements on the dashboard, specially designed stitched seats and an all-track insignia plate on the door sill. The Alltrack has a comprehensive range of driver assistance safety systems to help make the drive even safer. And of course, it also comes with the latest in infotainment systems. The Alltrack has exactly the same available load space as the standard Caddy, which is 3,020 litres. If you need a little bit more space, however, then have a look at the Caddy Maxi. That's available with seven seats and can fit up to 3,880 litres of space. It's also available with all-wheel drive. The Caddy's based on a light goods vehicle, and obviously that has its pluses and its minuses. On the plus side, there's a huge amount of storage throughout the vehicle. It's extremely practical. The sliding doors on the side are a really nice touch. On the not so great side, some of the materials look the way that you expect them to, but are a little bit plasticky to touch. The Caddy comes with four diesel and three petrol engines. The diesels range in power from 75 to 150 brake horsepower and are all two liter TDIs. The petrols range between 84 and 125 brake horsepower and vary between 1.4 and one liters in size. But there's also a natural gas option, which is a 1.4 liter engine and that produces 110 brake horsepower. Depending on the engine model, you can have a five or six speed manual or a six or seven speed DSG. You can only get all wheel drive with the top two power levels of the diesel engine. The Alltrack comes available with all wheel drive, which means it not only handles really well on regular roads and gravel surfaces, but you can do some pretty great things off road with it too. Of course, the all wheel drive really comes into its own when you take the vehicle off road but it's not just helpful there. It really assists you while you're driving in adverse conditions under regular circumstances. If you'd like to buy a Volkswagen Caddy Alltrack, that's gonna start off from a little over 24,000. But if you want the four motion version, that's gonna set you back a little more than 31. However, if you want to really nicely equip it and set it up, you can probably look to spend around about 40. The Caddy Alltrack drives a whole lot better off-road than you would think just by looking at it. Now, if you want the five or seven seater all-wheel drive, you can have that in the standard version. But if you want the off-road looks, you need to go with the Alltrack. <laughs>